Good evening, Diana. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Uh, very good. All right, great. And how about the weekend? How was it? Mm, relaxing. Oh, nice. What did you do? Um, what did you do on the weekend? Um, home. You just stayed home. All right, yeah. that's nice. Just resting and watching TV, I guess. Yes. Okay, nice. Hey, do you like to watch movies as well? Um, the horror. So oh, you like horror movies? All right. Yeah. Okay, great. And how about the platform, Diana? How are you doing with that? Finish the platform. Please. Oh, you're done. Okay, nice. Yes, I saw many of you are done. That's pretty nice. Congratulations. Great. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Marvel Pineda, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Marvel? Fine, thank you. Okay, nice. And how about the weekend? How was it? Uh, the weekend. Mm, visit family. Oh, okay. You visit Excellent. your family. Relax. Okay. Perfect. So, um, do, does your family live near to you? Mm, no. Oh, where um, do they live? They live in Suchitoto. Oh, in Suchitoto. I never gone there, but people say it's nice, right? It's a nice place. Mm, I see one thing. Oh, nunca he ido, pero dicen que es bonito, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, great. In the platform, Marvel? Tell me um, about it. Section four. Okay, fine, you're in section four already, so we're good. All right, so just continue practicing then. That's great. Smash. Yeah, do not And um, I don't know if any of you has a, a question, a doubt, or something you want to practice, maybe. Can you tell me. Um, in the snow check. Mm -hmm. in, Problem from um, the solution. Uh, I have number um, two crew. Mm. So, what happened? Mm. Don't worry, Don't maybe worry. you can say it in Spanish. Don't worry about it. Sí, dice, no, no entiendo. El, el, el primero no lo check, no lo he podido terminar. El primero de la sección 4. La sección 4, ¿no? ajá. Okay. Me okay. quedó pendiente, pero no lo tengo cargado para mostrarlo. Here, I got it. So it's maybe this thing. Is it this one, Marco? Mm. Where you have to Let's use see. do, does, don't, and does. Uh -huh. uh -huh. 
Okay, so here what you have to do is to use either the corresponding auxiliary verb, do, does, don't, or doesn't, or the object pronoun, it says. So we have a, the auxiliaries, do and don't are for I, you, we, and they. And we have does and doesn't for he, she, and it. And then about the object pronouns, we got um, for I, we have me, for you, you, he, him, she, her, and well, I can write them if you want me to. Let's see. So these are the ones we got. Let me get a different color. So for you, the object pronoun is me. For I mean for I, the object pronoun is me. For you is you. Then we have he, him, she, here. Hey. And for it is the same it. And we us and they them. There you go. So we got me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. Those are the object pronouns. And then you have to use those here together with the with the auxiliaries. For example, the first one is a question. Okay, oh, let me get out of this. Okay, so the first one it's a question. What do we write here? <laughs> do you like exactly we use do do you like science fiction movies no i doesn't i doesn't or i don't uh i don't don't right i don't remember that we use don't and do for i you we and they and does and doesn't is for he, she, and it. Okay, then we got number three. I don't like. It. Okay, it refers to the science fiction movies. So I don't like it or them. Uh, it. In this case, we use them because them. it, because. yes. Because it refers to the science fiction movies. So it's like a conversation, right? Here, do you like science fiction movies? No, I don't. I don't like them very much. I don't like them. Because it's plural, science fiction movies. Okay, and then we have another one. It says Jake and Lisa like some operas. What do we need here? It's, in... it's the auxiliary mm. do, does, don't, or doesn't. Doesn't. In this case of Jake and Lisa, we use. We use do, the auxiliary do. Do. Do Jake and Lisa like sub operas? Do, because it refers to Jake and Lisa. Okay? And all right, so um, don't worry about it. Today we are going to study the questions, the questions we do and that, we do and that. So, so, so that may so help. help. Marble. Is that okay? Do you have any other question? question? No. Good evening. No? Okay. okay. We keep on practicing. Good evening. How are you today? I'm tired. So oh, tired? Really? You had a hard day. <laughs> How was the weekend? I um so so. <laughs> so so? Okay. So, so. <laughs> All right. And you finished the work in the platform, right, Anna? Yes, yes, teacher. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. See Ailey, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. 
Okay, great. How was the weekend? Um, very good. Perfect. And how about the platform? Did you finish as well? Yes, yeah, finish. You did, right. Okay, congratulations. Great. Let me see, Basilia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. All right, that's nice. How was the weekend? Uh, very good. Mm, great. And the platform, Basilia, did you finish too? Yes, I finished. You did. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Flores Miranda, good evening. Flores Miranda, good evening. good evening. How are you today? Good evening. I'm fine. All right. That's great. I'm fine. How was the weekend? Very good, teacher. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Very good. Great. And the platform, Thanks. did you finish as well? Yes, yes, I you finished. Did. Okay, excellent. That's nice. Yes. The Thanks. All right, let's see. Charlie, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. All right. Tell me about your weekend. How was it? It was very good. Okay. Excellent. And the platform, Charlie, how are you doing? In the section four. You're in section four. Okay. We're doing pretty well. Keep going. Okay. Anderson Garcia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Great. How was the weekend? It was very excellent. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And the platform, Art Anderson, how are you doing? Uh, I finished the you finish? five section. Yes. Oh, all right. Nice. Did you get your certificate as well? Yes. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. Alessandra Palma, good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? Mm, great, I'm good, thank you. And how about your weekend? How was it? Was really good, teacher. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And the platform, Alessandra, did you finish as well? I almost finished. I, today oh. I'm going to finish, I promise. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Excellent. Let me see, Carlos Antonio. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Uh, um, relax. Oh, all right. Relax. That's nice. How was the weekend? Yeah. Uh, well, I working. I I was work, in the in the morning in the in the factory. Oh, okay. The That's the rest the, the 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 time in my house. All right. That's great. And how about the platform, Carlos? How I start the number five. Start. I, yes, start number five. The uh, people so families. Okay. Start. All right. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And let me see. Ana Veronica, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Ana? Very good. Uh, All right. You? I'm doing well, thanks. How was the weekend? Uh, very relaxed because oh, yeah. I play soccer mm -hmm. on Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah, it sounds good. You did some exercise and had fun, I guess. Yes. Okay, nice. And how about the platform, Anna? I, 
I start the section four. Okay, you're starting section four. Well, we're doing good. Perfect. So let's see. A, well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our third week of classes. So this week we are going to be working on section number four. I know that many of you already finished the work in the platform, so that is perfect. And we're just going to keep uh, working on the topics and we're studying the topics and practicing uh, so we get to grasp them better, right? To grasp the topics better. And the first thing that we're going to do today is to uh, go to the midterm exam and check it so we can get some feedback if needed. So let me go to the platform. How was it? Was it difficult or was it easy? How was the midterm exam? Easy teacher. Easy. easy. All right, that's yes. nice. Okay. Um, so let me see. Here it starts with some listenings. Let's try to yeah, we're going to try to do them. Let me see if I can get them. Okay, let's listen to the conversation and then we're going to answer. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M-A-R-C-E-A-U. I see. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh. Is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada, too. <laughs> really? Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go and get some coffee. Okay, Sylvie? Sounds great. All right, now let's answer. So we got Sylvie is Lucy's friend from Toronto or Michael's classmate. Lucy's friend. Lucy's friend. Yes, she's Lucy's friend. And number two, Sylvie's last name is which one? Option one, two, or three? Two. Option two. 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 Option two, right? Number three, Lucy's math teacher is pretty great, very interesting, or really good? Really good. Really good. Very great. Number four, they are all in the cafeteria, in the same school, or in the same chemistry class? In the same school. In the same school. Exactly, they are in the same school. Then we got a second listening. Let's do it. <clears throat> Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice, too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Say, Ben, 
What size are you? Small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. Okay, so we have number one. Ben prefers the green, red, or blue shirts. Green, green shirts. Green shirts. Green. green. Option one. Green, green shirts. Okay. All right, then we have number two. The blue shirts are 25, 29, or 41? 41. 41. Yes, they are 41. Number three, the green shirts are made of polyester, silk, or cotton? Cotton. Cotton. Okay, and number four, Ben's size is large, medium, or small? Medium. 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 All right. Now let's continue by filling in the blanks with the correct form of B. Number one, where um, is or are? Are. Where are? Are. where are you from, Teresa? I'm from Mexico City. How about you? Number two? Is David. Yes, David. Is, is David, is David in your class this semester? Yes, we're in the same Spanish class. Number three, Basilia, help me please. What is your math class like? Read the answer as well, please. It is really interesting and the teacher is great. Okay, very nice, thank you. Number four, um, Ana del Carmen. Are Maria and Brian from Canada? No, from England. Okay, very well. Then in okay. part number two, we have to complete the conversations oh, using the simple God. present. So we have number no, one. I need your, uh, where, um, can you please turn off the microphone? Okay, so we got number one, where you work. What do we write here? Are. And here where, we have to use the simple do present. Do, are, right? Where, 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 do. where do you work? Where do you work? Very good. Where do you work? I work in a restaurant. I'm a chef. Number two. What does does what does he do exactly? He's a pilot for Grover Airlines. Wow. Number three, where does she do? Go to school. Go. 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 Where does she go. go to school? She goes to the University of Colorado. And the next part is circle the word or well, choose the word. So here we have nice to meet you, Rich. In what's you. his, there or your? Your. Number two, um, what do we say? Hair, my or it's? My. my. My, my last, my name, last is name is Parker. It's nice it's to meet nice you. To meet you. Too. Number three, it this is, is my friend, friend Elizabeth. Everyone calls her Beth. Okay, number four, hi Beth, we're the Johnsons. Your, oh. his, or our? Oh. Our, 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 names. Our, our first names are yes. Frank and yes. Judy. And then in part number two, we have to choose the proper object pronoun. We got Johnny. Johnny Depp is my favorite actor. I like him a lot. In a lot. I like him a lot. In a lot. Number two, music videos aren't very interesting. Do you like them. 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 them? them. And number three, my favorite TV program is Survivor. What do you think of? It. 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 Okay, in the last part, we have to complete the sentences using the correct time expressions. So we have number one, I sleep. At 10 p.m. At, at 10. At, at 10 p.m. on weekdays. Number two, John gets home late. At, at, at night. night. At, at night. Three, they have lunch. On Saturday. On, 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 on. Remember Saturday. that for the days of the week, we use on, on Saturdays around 1 p.m. Number four, I go to bed around 11. 
Okay, in part two, we have to use demonstrative pronouns. How much is this watch? This, this watch. This I watch. can find a price tag. And the next one says, look at purple look jeans. At those. At those. 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 Look at those purple those. jeans over there. Those. Aren't they stylish? Over next there. one, those. I like. These. 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 Yes. These. 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 Remember these, we pronounce the plural. it these. these. Uh -huh. I like okay, these gold to... earrings. They look great on me. Number four, excuse me, I like that. No. Cap. 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 That cap. cap. Can I see it, please? And number five, she likes those, those. those. those glasses over there. Those glasses. Those glasses over there, okay? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, right? Oh, we got a reading. We're not going to do it now, um, unless you have a question. Do you have any questions, any doubts about any of the parts of the of the midterm exam? No. No, no. questions? No, teacher. All right, no fine, very well. Now let's continue by... Let me go back here. Let's continue by remembering about what we studied last class, which was the comparative adjectives, right? We mentioned that we have some different rules to make comparatives. Uh, well, the general rule says that you have to add ER to the adjective and the word then, right? Then we get, for example, new, we add ER and we get newer, then, right? Like uh, this book is newer than that one. For instance, then for long, what do we get? What longer is the comparative? Longer, longer than. Longer. Okay, and how about expensive? Expensive. What do we do in the case of expensive? Expensive. Remember that more for longer, expensive. for longer adjectives, we add the word more. more, and we just keep the adjective in the same form. More expensive than, more expensive than. Okay, the next one is big. What happens in the case of big? Bigger. Bigger. Okay, how do you spell it? B I G G E R. Exactly, it takes double G. We double the last consonant. Then we have small. What's the comparative for small? Smaller. Smaller. Smaller than. Okay. Then good is an irregular one. What is the comparative for that one? Better. Better. Better, better than. Better than. Exactly. And bad is also irregular. What's the comparative? Worse than. Worse, worse than. than. Yes, it's true. The comparative for fast faster. is faster. Faster. Faster, faster than. than. And the comparative for thin, what is it? Uh -huh. thin. Yeah. Yeah. It's thinner. Mm -hmm. Double yeah. 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 Then we have Prettier. pretty. Prettier. And how do you spell prettier? P R E T T. Okay, T T, and then I add I E R. I E R. Exactly. So here we had to change the Y for an I. Then we get prettier than. Then the comparative for slow. Slower. 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 Than. Slower than. And in the case of beautiful, what do we do? More, more beautiful, more beautiful. Than. We add more, right? More beautiful than. More beautiful. 
Then we have exciting. What's the comparative for exciting? More exciting. More exciting. More exciting. Yes. Exciting. More exciting than. More exciting than. What becomes? More fun. But father, 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 then okay, cleaner. The party for clean is cleaner, cleaner, cleaner then. In the case of handsome, what is the comparative? More, more handsome more than, than. Yes, we say more handsome than young, handsome than. younger. 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 Younger than. Then large. Larger. Larger, larger than. Larger. Taller. Taller. Taller than. And in the case taller. of intelligent, in we got intelligent more than. intelligent than. Intelligent than. Okay, perfect. Now let's practice pronunciation. Please, everybody, repeat. Newer than. Newer than newer 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 longer than longer than longer than longer 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 more expensive than more expensive than bigger than bigger than Smaller than. Smaller than. Smaller than. Good. 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 Better than. Better than. Bad. 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 Worse than. Worse than. Faster than. Faster than. Faster than. Faster than. Faster than. Thinner than. Dinner, 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 more Father Dan. Father Dan. Father Dan. Cleaner Dan. Cleaner Dan. Cleaner Dan. More handsome Dan. More handsome Dan. Younger Dan. Younger Dan. Larger Dan. Larger Dan. Larger Dan. Taller than, taller than, more intelligent than, more intelligent than. Okay, good. So those are the comparative adjectives. Remember that to the short adjectives we add er, and to the long ones, to the ones that take two or more syllables, we add more. And okay. Here I have an exercise for you to practice, but we're going to do it later when we go to the breakout rooms and practice in small groups. And now let's go back to the platform. We are going to practice a conversation. So let me go to section number four, which is the one we are starting today. And we're watching the video. Then we are going to practice. Okay, so in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Let's listen to it. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, 
This conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. You like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. And remember to keep your microphones off, please. Okay, so we got the conversation about music, right? Now let's practice it. Do I have any volunteers to read the conversation? Me, teacher. Adriana and Me, teacher. Francisco. Okay, go ahead, Francisco, you start. Do you like it up, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I don't. I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess. I don't know much about rap. So... What kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Olivia. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you, Adriana and Francisco. Very good. And let me have a second part to read it. Anybody else who wants to read? Me, teacher. Carlos? Me, teacher. Okay, Carlos Antonio, and who else? Me, teacher. Diana. Okay, go ahead, Carlos, you start. Okay. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of the Eminem. I think I can know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion, I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, very well. Thank you. And everybody repeat, please. No. 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 Okay. No. And no. Very. 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 Me, teacher. Anna. Anna Veronica. Me. Me, teacher. And who was that one? Elena. Okay, so Elena and Anna, you read. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it every much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the, play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. <laughs> Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, excellent. Thanks for reading. Now, everybody repeat, please. Do you like rap, Liz? 
Do you like it? Like 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 I don't like it very much. I don't like it very much. I don't like it very much. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. I think I know him. I think I, I know him. Does he play, Does he the, play piano? the piano? Yes. Does, Does he play the piano? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's a singer. 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 I don't know, I much, don't about know much about rap. I don't know much about rap. What kind what of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? Who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite singer? I love her voice. I love her voice. Do you like her? Do you like her? I don't like I don't pop music, music, music very much. I don't like no, pop music, music very, much. Very, much. Very, much. very much. Okay, so as you see, today we are going to learn about how to express likes and dislikes. Let me tell you about it. We got, we got some different verbs that we use for talking about likes. And the opposite, dislikes, right? So we have love. You can say you love something when you like it very much. Then we have the verb like in the negative, don't like. And we also have the verb hate in order to indicate that you dislike something a lot. And remember that to express likes and dislikes, we use the simple present. So I mean that we say, I love, I like, I don't like, I hate, or we hate, and she likes, they love, but we cannot really say I'm hating or I'm loving. We use the simple present all the time. And then something else to take into account is that we have to remember that we add S to the verb when using the third person. We're using the simple present. Therefore, we have to also apply the rule for the third person verbs. We add S to them. For example, here we have the chart. And we say, I love, you love, we love, and they love. But we say, he loves, she loves, and it loves. Then we have the verb like which in the third person becomes likes. I like, you like, we like, and they like. He likes, she likes, it likes. And then we have the negative for like, which is don't like. And in the third person, doesn't like, doesn't like. And the last verb is hate, which in the third person becomes hates. You hate, he hates. Now repeat, please. Love. 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 Loves. 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 Okay, like. 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 Likes. Like. Likes. Likes. Don't like. Don't like. 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 Doesn't like. Doesn't like. Like. Hate. 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 Hates. 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 Okay, let's see what else we got. We got some examples on how to express our likes and dislikes. We can say, for example, I like jazz. I like jazz. We love rock music. They don't like salsa music. My sister doesn't like reggaeton. I have, he I hate, sorry, I hate heavy metal. And then, well, is something else that we have to learn in this lesson is to make a yes, no questions and delete questions in the simple present. So let's remember that for making yes, no questions, we use do or does plus the subject, then the verb and the complement. And remember, we use do for the subjects. For what subjects do I use do? 
for I. I. They. You. They. 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 And we. 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 We, we, right? We use do they. for the subjects I, you, we, and they. And we got thus, which is for the subjects he, he, she, he, it, she, she, he, she, she, and it. He. Exactly. So we use do for I, you, we, and they. And for the third person, he, she, it, we use thus. So I say, do you like movies do you like movies no. or i say does no. she like movies does she like movies right then another thing to take into account well if, here we have some examples do you like electronic music yes i do or no i don't that is the way we answer as well remember we use the same auxiliary here we have the question we do and we also use do in the answer, right? Do you like electronic music? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Remember, when the answer is no, we have to use the negative, don't or do not. Then we have the next example. Does she like shrimps? Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. Do they love orange juice? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Uh, okay, so that is what we have to take into account about the yes, no questions. We use the auxiliaries do or does. And for the answers, the short answers, we also use them, right? Again, we use do or does and the negatives don't or doesn't. Uh, okay, we're going to keep these questions for next class because I think we have <coughs> time. Okay, so let's see. We have to react to the following, following things. So let me ask some of you about them. Let's see. Flores Meralda, do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, how much do you like it? Do you love it, like it, or... How much do you like it? Do you like it very much? Yes, yes I do. Okay, great. So remember that whenever you like something a lot or you like it very much, you can say, I love. So remember you can use love and also like. Got love, like, don't like, and hate. Okay, so for example, pizza. In my case, I say, I love pizza. So if you ask me, do you like pizza? Yes, I love pizza. And let's see, onion, for example. If you ask me, do you like onion? I would say, no, I don't like onion. And then, well, you have to react to the different uh, things by saying you, if you love them, you like them, don't like them, or hate them. So let me ask Diana Yamilet. Diana, do you like French fries? Um, no, I don't. You don't, okay. Fine, let's see. Erika Quintanilla, do you I like don't. pasta? Yes, I do. Okay, do you love it, like it, or what? So, Erica, do you love, do you love? You love it. You like it very do much. Do you love it? Okay, so just give me a complete answer, a long answer. For example, if I ask you, do you like French fries? Yes, I love French fries. Or yes, I like French fries. Or the negatives, right? No, I don't like French fries. Or no, I hate French fries. Let's see, Adriana Arias, do you like onion? Yes, I like. <laughs> you I... like onion. Okay, good. Let me continue by asking Dina Contreras. Dina, do you like running? Uh, no, 
I don't run. You don't like running. Okay, good. Marvel, do you like rock music? No, I, uh, I like music. You don't like, you don't like no. rock, music. rock music? Okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Do you like pop music? Mm, no, I don't like pop music. You don't like it. Okay, fine. Um, let me see. Diana Lisette. Diana, do you like horror movies? I love horror movies. Oh, you do? Okay, interesting. Ana del Carmen, do you like basketball? No, I don't like. You don't like it, okay. No. <laughs> Let's see, um, Charlie, do you like romantic movies? No, I don't like. Do you don't like them, okay. Anderson Garcia, do you like candy? Yes, I like candy. Perfect. Alessandra, do you like seafood? Yes, I do. I love seafood. All right, excellent. Erika Quintanilla, do you like Mexican food? I love Mexican food. All right, very well. And how about Cecilia Estrada? Cecilia, do you like sushi? No, I don't like sushi. You don't, okay. And Elena Menjiva, do you like swimming? Yes, I like swimming. All right, great. Vladimir Tolentino, do you like dancing? No, I don't like. You don't like dancing, okay, great. And let's see, Dina Contreras, do you like cycling? I like cycling. Yes, I like cycling. You like it. Okay, fine. Uh, Francisco, um, do you like the beach? Yes, I love the beach. You love it. Okay, great. And Carlos Antonio, do you like the cold weather? Yes, I do. I, I love it, the cold weather. Oh, okay, nice. And how about Marvel? Do you like hot weather? No, do you like weather? You don't like, you don't like. You don't like. Okay, okay, fine, fine. All right, now we still have some minutes. Let's talk about our favorite uh, kinds of music, food, sports, and movies. So let me ask one person and then you keep on asking your classmates. Yeah, let me see. So Ana Veronica, what kind of music do you like? I, I like uh, pop music. You like pop, okay. Now ask one of the questions to one of your classmates, Anna. Okay. Uh, Carlos Antonio, what kind of food do you like? Well, I, I love it, the sushi. The sushi, I love it, and seafood too. Okay. Carlos, continue asking. Um, Erika Quintanilla, what kind of sport do you like? I love uh, football. Okay. All right, Erika, you ask. Okay. Carlos Antonio, what kind of movie do you like? Well, I, I like the movies, uh, action movies. Okay, Carlos, yeah. continue asking, please. Okay, uh, Elena Menjivar, what kind of music, music do you like? 
I like the the pop music. Okay, Elena, continue. Okay. Solo que no puedo ver a mis compañeros. Oh. Okay, so let me ask Flor. Go Flor. ahead. Flor, what kind of food do you like? I like pasta. You like pasta, okay. Great, Flor, now it's your turn to ask. Por favor, me dice quién. Thank yes, you. you can ask Thank Ailey. <laughs> Ailey, what kind of music do you like? Mm, I like bachata music. Yes, very well. Okay, now Ailey, you ask. Just let me tell you the pronunciation for this word is kind. What kind? What kind of music do you like? What kind of food do you like? What kind of sports do you like? And what kind of movies do you like? Now go ahead, Ailey. Um, Ana Veronica, ya pasó. Um, no. You can ask her. Uh, Ana Veronica, what kind of movies do you like? I like romantic movies. Okay, Ana Veronica, now you ask another classmate, please. Uh, Anderson Garcia, what kind of sport do you like? I love soccer. Okay, Anderson, ask another person, please. Uh, Charlie, what kind of movies do you like? I like the superhero movies. Okay, Charlie, keep asking. Okay, and Marvel, uh, what kind of sport do you like? I like soccer. Okay, Marvel. Okay, Marvel. As one of, as one of your classmates. Basilia, what kind of food do you like? I like, I like chicken. chicken. Great. Basilia, now ask another person, please. Maybe you can ask Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen. Okay. What kind of movies do you like? I like uh, comic movies. Oh, you got you like comedy. Nice. Mm -hmm. okay, let's see, Ana del Carmen. You can ask Diana Lisset. Diana, um, what kind of music do you like, Diana? I like salsa music. Okay, excellent. All right, so we're going to stop over here. That will be all for today's class. Thanks everybody for participating. And congratulations to the ones who finished the work on the platform. And for the others, remember you have to keep working. And by now we should be in section four at least. So please keep working on the platform and finish it as soon as you can, as soon as possible, okay? Hey, have a good night, everybody. Okay, Take care. care. See you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night, good night teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night.